Hey everyone, I'm back with Buffy the Sin Slayer, episode number 65, and I meant to put this reminder in at the start of the last episode, but I still have taken zero stim packs, as you can see here in my data stats. So, yep, I always do that uh, every time I start a new section up, so at the start of Far Harbor, at the start of the Vault 1, Automatron. So yeah, zero stim packs still taken. Uh, didn't really play it in between the didn't really play this character in between the DLCs coming out, so that's that. Anyways, in between cuts, I decided to pick up the Problem Solver, which is a free variant of the Splatter Cannon. I did so so that I could make a video about it, um, and then I sort of scrounged the surrounding area in the Nuka Town to like grab a bunch of parts, um, and then I s scavenged up here and inside this room, and then. Uh, I, I put what mods that I could on it, though uh, I still haven't got it fully modded. It still has an automatic receiver, unfortunately, so that's that. Bought up a bunch of purified water, bought some ammo for it, and uh, yeah. Home, Let's talk boss. to Porter. I think that's that's all I did, but it took a while. So. I also did watch my last video back, and the audio seemed a bit quiet, so I think I'm gonna turn it up a bit. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control now that you're in charge. Um. Sorry, pal. I don't want the job. Oh, come on. I haven't even told you about all the perks yet. Like I told you, better to be running these guys than fighting them. And, uh, you try and leave now. That ain't gonna go over so well. Just give it a chance, okay? You might even have a little fun. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? Hey, Sir, always. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you. It ain't going to be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this. I forgot to check the time before I started so I know how long this is running. Start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. Coulter couldn't pull this off? He was weak. Didn't deserve to be in charge. Tell me about it. I thought he had what it took, so I helped arrange this whole deal. Didn't work out. But now that you're here, we got a second shot. You know, I think I heard of you. Some big shot with the Brotherhood Maybe. of Steel, right? They ain't <clears throat> that different from a raider gang, you ask me. Just try and act all legitimate, but they still just take what they want. Look. I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years. They don't live with people's heads on pikes, though, and have, like, dead bodies laying around all over the place. It must smell terrible here. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. All right, the disciples the like violence. The operators are in for the money. The pack. They're nuts. Don't worry, 
Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then we get started on. But All right. Okay. All right. You just need to show them. You. From what I hear, you've got a head start on things already. Just talk to the rest of them. I'll be here. So I already talked to Mason, the leader of the pack, because that's where I got my rifle from. Um. And. Oh, when I got back to the Nuka Town market, that Harvey dude who lied to me at the uh, Nuka Town Transit Center in the Commonwealth was there, and I talked to him, and he said, "Hey," and uh, I'll talk to her. I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it. This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their <laughs> lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Oh, yeah. The Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. All right, all right. So, <laughs> not that well known. Darn it, I wanted Thanks that to pass. To my feelings anyway. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. If you're searching for a more ridiculous pair of sunglasses, don't bother. I doubt such a thing exists. Sunglasses? Oh, you mean the cappy glasses. Sorry, sometimes I forget I'm even wearing them. Aren't they great? It's actually kind of it surprising that she gives these glasses perfect. away. Oh, if I she's like that. this you know in Never mind. to... I'll just keep looking. Um, I, I like could, finding this I secret or whatever. Oh, no thanks. Um, I kind of need to keep this a secret. It's really yeah, she just like immediately it hands it off. Okay, well. I don't think I'm gonna pass that without uh, a little bit of help. So. Classic mid conversation, great mentats. You can trust me. Well, okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka Cola fan, right? I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. Gosh, and. The winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb no. Bradburton himself. Bradburton. I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka Cola, right? Exactly. Wow. Not a lot of people know that. So, to win the contest, you had All to right, you have to find the friggin' friggin' no, imi friggin' images of Cappy. Well, that formula and then you can get the secret Nuka Cola formula. So I'll help her. Let's get to the point. I'll give you my cap. Just track down the clue. I'm an expert in all. Happy hunting. Oh my God! Hidden Cappy hit contest hints added, dude. That would have helped so much. I didn't know that was a thing. I did not see that the first time. At least I forgot about it. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, would have that have been, like, ever helpful. That made it so easy. Okay, let's put on these dumb sunglasses, and I'm right beside the first one. Um. That last one died too fast. Wait, wrong way. It's right here. Sure, we carry guns, but not for that. Uh, right there. That last one died too fast. All right, G. Anyways, let's get to the actual topics, which I wrote a few down of before I started this, so that uh, 
I wouldn't lose my train of thought as much as I did last time. Um, Skyrim Remastered is coming out, I believe, on October 28th. And if you own Skyrim Legendary Edition or Skyrim on Steam plus all the DLC, then uh, you'll get a free copy of it. So, there's a fair chance that uh, I'll be uploading videos on that. Probably going to do a Let's Play. I already have an idea of what character I want to, to do. So, I think that'll be cool because lots of people are into Fallout are also into Skyrim. And I've been playing a bit myself. I've actually been playing... Um, though I haven't played it in a minute, is a bit of Anderol. And I guess I'll talk about that in a second after hey this lady I suppose we finishes all talking. You for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. It is all. <laughs> a clown. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to yeah. know. What did you feel as you did it? <sighs> um. Bored. Kind of like this conversation now that you I hate these glasses. Hey, you don't get to talk to Mags that way. It's all right, William. Regardless. Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better. I'm mad. This? A pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzy, we... You'll come to understand soon enough that we are... Uh -huh. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh... Soda? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Cat. The best this option. place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little uh -huh. though by somewhat more cutthroat. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived. Long. And that means if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like and that we're going to get back. Actually, I'm really more in this for the soda. <laughs> Great. Another nut. William. Of course, overboss. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. But do take a little time to consider the kind of life we could all write. Okay. Um, yeah, these guys are lame. Ooh, fashionable sunglasses. Fancy hairbrush, tuxedo quartz oh yeah that's locked but there's really nothing in there um, nothing that I can remember being worth it at least We'd so all right yeah nothing good in here Suppose you just right. beat us to it. Uh, this is where I came from all right whatever let's dip go talk to the other nuts in the fizz top mountain but uh, yes yeah, Skyrim coming out have an idea of what I possibly want to do for that. I've been playing Enderall, and if you haven't heard of Enderall, um, it's basically um, a guy and I guess like a you know a team of his sure, we carry guns, he used the Skyrim engine to create an entirely new game. I think they say it has like um, like 30 to 50 hours of gameplay or something like that. Um, so yeah, Watch it's its own game. All you have to do to play it is if you Google Enderal, E-N-D-E-R-A-L, um, you can find their website. And if you have a, a legit copy of Skyrim through Steam, you install you install your copy of Skyrim, you download the mod, and then you just like, uh, you download the mod, it's a .gz file, which is a zip file pretty much. Um, and then you download the launcher, and the launcher will use the uh, zipped file, the JZ file, and your Skyrim content, which is already loaded, to build the mod. And it's an entirely new story, they overhaul a lot of the mechanics, and uh, it's really cool. I'll talk about that uh, once again a little more in a second after, uh, after this. And what are you? His grandma? If I was, I would have slit that little suck-up's throat a long time ago. Gage will never be one of us. He's a failure. He's lucky we're giving him a second chance. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. 
I lead the disciples. We've only got one rule around here. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world's okay, not rules, blah, blah, blah. I bet you guys are great at parties. Side with us, you'll soon find out. We got Poulter, Nuka Town, and such. Although I could give him a little credit. Of course, it was total shit at first. You call that a gauntlet? More like a cakewalk. Do cakewalks end in death? Because if Gage hadn't helped your ass, you'd be dead right now. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, and never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. Um. I'm the best there is. Willing to bet your life on that? Yes. Okay, this is dumb. There's no way she can see through that. I, I don't know why this is just hitting me, but there's no way that that chunk of metal, like, is it, you can see two ways through that. It's not like that's, like, you know, one-way sheet metal. And I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support... I don't make problems. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. But, if you change your tune and... Right. There's no shortage of work around. Alright, their quests are lame. The reason I accepted them my other character, and it just logged at my quest log because it points you like it'll point you back to the commonwealth to do things over there so I don't want to do it and like some of them two of, two of the three of the quests that I got were the same quest it was go and put a slave collar on this person at this location which I didn't want to do that's rude um, all right now do I have to talk to this dummy again damn nuka cola but yeah, like uh, the level up system, for instance, is uh, is much different. Uh, you level up based off of experience points in Enderall, um, so it's more similar to Fallout in that way. And then once you level up, um, you unlock a learning point. And then in Skyrim, normally you press Z to use your shouts, but you unlock abilities, and one of those default abilities is Meditate, where when you do that, it takes you to like this, like like grotto looking place and uh you can um uh like look at the different like stones or whatever and the stones have the different perks on them and you can choose which perk you want there's the thief tree like the warrior tree the mage tree and uh, uh it's pretty cool and uh oh yeah to like level up your skills you, the only way to do it is to find uh, uh books like learning books so you have to you either have to just like I said find them or you can go to stores and buy them and pretty much you're better off buying them at stores that's how I was getting like 95% of my points when I was leveling up though I uh, like every time you level up you gain you gain learning points and memory points the memory points are what you use for perks and the learning points are like you get like you know like eight a level or something like that and now you're allowed to put eight points into your skills so you can like buy a hundred books but you're only allowed to use a certain amount of them per level so um they'll do what they're told and that's all that matters oh boy okay time to roll yeah. up your sleeves boss there's work to be done this place is huge divided up into sections parks whatever the hell they call them we need to it's take fruit fly in my face. One at a time. Mm -hmm. you stay All right. I thought the whole point of having minions. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Mm -hmm. And hey. No thanks. No thanks. Suit yourself. This is no companions playthrough gauge. I'll come back for you on my third playthrough. So now I gotta go. Uh, find all the or clear out all the park locations so I'm going to go ahead and put this on nine because I'll never accidentally hit nine so let's take those dumb glasses off what dang it I thought you could just freaking <clears throat> tap nine to equip and unequip them because that's what you do with weapons that's lame well, um, yeah, Enderall, um, more talk about that, um, I don't know, it's cool, it's got a really cool story, 
Um, it's really confusing story so far. I don't. I do have no clue how far I am through it. But I think when I go back to playing it, I'm just going to uh, do my best to sort of rush through the main quest because one of the things about it is that like for Skyrim, I know which areas. I've played it enough that I know which areas are tough. You know, like it's like oh well, I shouldn't go here yet because I'm not a high enough level to dig on these enemies or oh you know there's a lot of trolls in this area I probably shouldn't be going trolls are pretty tough um, and that is not the case with Enderal for me because I have absolutely no clue which areas have which enemies and how tough the enemies are because a lot of the enemies look different um, Oh, Don't shit. forget to pick up your child yeah, because turned Sheriff Star after today's Wild West um, show performance. But yeah, I always end up getting like way in over my head and it's like, okay, well, I guess this area is bad. At least the thing about Fallout 4 is that you start in the top left hand corner of the map and the further you get away from it, the harder the enemies get. Pretty straightforward. But in that, it's like areas are all over the place. Oh, and one thing that... Uh, bothers me too about it is um no fast travel the only way to fast travel is to get scrolls and the scrolls only bring you to specific locations so you can't just go um to uh you know <clears throat> like to compare it to skyrim you can't just fast travel to like the white run stables you have to fast travel to white run so, it's only like pretty much the main towns you're allowed to go to. So that's that. Kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, still, um, overall, really cool game so far. Yes. Um, highly recommend it if you're interested. If you have a PC uh, capable of running it, it does. Uh, it's a little bit more resource intensive than Skyrim is for sure, because uh, just like one of the like he he the person who made it is not afraid to uh use tons of grass and tons of trees which cause a lot of like you know dynamic shadows and stuff like that so uh your computer's going to be drawing uh a lot of resources to be able to display all that and got that magazine Unidentified. and which one should i do first um I want to do the... Sweet. Ah. Two clues down. <laughs> the fades in. That's funny. Oh, man. Reload, reload, reload. Alright, I need to look for lots of aluminum and um, uh, adhesive. Those are the two main things. Oh, and screws. So desk fan, alarm clock, those are good things. But f yeah, for clearing this location out right here, you gotta get 20 cores, uh, nice. star cores, and then put them in the uh, star core control room, and then and then you disable all the robots that are here because there's a ton of them uh, and then you make this place safe for the raiders to show up so we just have to go around to the different approach locations like this one right here and, and get star cores so time okay I could probably clear out this place Oh my gosh, those things are evil! Look at that! Okay, just kill this thing, please. Oh my god. Let me survive. Oh, perfect timing on that. Jesus. My house with my health is low. Anyways, that's getting remastered. That's my plans for it, and that's Enderall. And uh it has my recommendation. But uh, recently, 
I also uh, played the Titanfall 2 demo because uh, the Titanfall 1 was pretty cool, but it was just boring because there was like nothing exciting about it, I guess. Um, the only thing you could... it seemed like it was very repetitive because it was... you get in your Titan and... Uh, or you get some kills as a pilot, you get in your Titan, you jump in your Titan, you get some kills as a Titan. Like, the cool thing about Call of Duty, in my opinion, at least, is that you have your kill streaks, and, uh, Halo, I don't know what I like about Halo, I think I just like the fact that it's more of a, like, a, a skill thing, and I got into it a few years ago. I think if I tried Halo right now, I might not be into it, because I wouldn't enjoy it, but it's a little bit slower paced, but, uh, yeah, um, I thought Titanfall 2 was alright. Um, I'll probably be getting it. I considered doing a Let's Play of the main story. Um, still don't know if I will. And where's Scrapper? That's what I want. Um, <coughs> but I'm considering doing a Let's Play of that too. The thing is, it comes at the same day as Skyrim. So if I do it, I think I'll do it way later down the road. Since, you know, People who subscribe to me are probably more interested in Skyrim than they are in Titanfall. So, that's a thing. Um, <coughs> I also played the Battlefield 1 demo, which I did not like. <laughs> um, is this homie, honestly? Okay. I was wondering if he was even taking damage. Let's, uh, let's use this. Uh, I was worried that, that that wasn't going to uh, hit and it was going to hit this bar right in front of my face. But yeah, I played Battlefield 1 and <coughs> the trailer was cool and it's kind of funny that the uh, Infinite Warfare trailer got so many dislikes and then Battlefield, like all the comments on it with like thousands of uploads are like, well, the God Killer, like they do every year which isn't going to happen. Um, played that game, not a fan, never been a fan of the Battlefield games, so definitely not getting that. Um, is this homie alive? Yeah, he is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will not be playing that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, Infinite Warfare. There's gameplay of that out now. Um, though, uh, really, I watched like six minutes of it, and I'm more interested in the Call of Duty 4 remake. I don't know if anybody out there also played Call of Duty 4, um, but that game was pretty fun, and I got into it the year after it came out. The year that World of World at War came out is the year I got my Xbox the end of 2009 and uh, I've caught four was more fun but I still didn't play it a ton like I think I made it through because I was pretty crap at the time too so I think I made it through you know the first prestige level 55 and then maybe I maybe I made it to like you know prestige one level 40 or prestige two level 20 or something like in that range but it wasn't wasn't much but I still really enjoyed the game still always enjoyed watching videos of it and so many of the people that I subscribe to are, you know, big fans of that game, and they also, you know, raved about it for years and uh, hoped that there'd be a remake, so I'm excited for that, and based off of what I've seen so far, um, that looks like it's going to be really fun, so I'm definitely getting that, though unfortunately you do have to pay like 80 bucks to get the hardened edition or whatever the heck it's called, which gives you Infinite Warfare plus the Call of Duty 4 remake, which is where I'm going to be spending more of my time, likely. Though, there also is zombies in the Infinite Warfare, so I'm interested to see how that turns out. Um, if they keep it simple, I might like it more than Black Ops 3 zombies. Because Black Ops 3 zombies is, is like... It's just all over the place, and I hate the fact that I have to like look up guides every time I want to play a map. And all the other ones, at least, I could like figure 
I could figure it out for myself until the end of Black Ops 1. Like, there was nothing really too tricky about it, but there's so many stuff, and like, the, even the parts that they hide around the map, like, they, they put it in spots where it, like, completely blends in, and I don't want to spend ages learning the map when I could just go and play it. So. That's the thing, and speaking of which, um, tomorrow actually, because it's the 5th as I record this, tomorrow's the 6th, so that means in a few hours, Got it. Uh, the last map, probably the last map, I really doubt that there's going to be another one before Black Ops 3 is over, but the last Black Ops 3 uh, map pack's coming out, Salvation, and the map Revelations is coming with it, which looks like it's going to be sick. Uh, I don't have a PS4, so I won't be able to play it, but I definitely will be watching streams when I can, at work and when I get home, because it looks nuts. Um, I really want to, you know, see how the story ends and whatever cutscenes there are in it, whatever cool dialogue there ends up being. Totally into that. Um, and uh, that's sick. So, looking forward to playing that for myself when it comes out on PS or PC and unfortunately I guess it's gonna be like uh, October early October which means I'll only have a few weeks to play before Skyrim comes out which seems like it's gonna be here seems like it's gonna come pretty quickly so yeah oh god I do not want this thing to see me Is there another one? Oh my god, the audio from that thing was still playing. These things scare me. Um, oh, this guy. We got anything else? I always just like mash vats in areas like this. Whenever I get the idiot savant. But, um,. Oh, another game that's coming out that I'm definitely going to do a Let's Play of. Dishonored 2. When they showed the trailer for that, I pre-ordered it that day at E3. When, like, when they showed it at E3. Like, after that conference was over, I was like, what the heck? How come Dishonored 2 isn't on the Steam page yet? And I, like, checked back, like, an hour later, and there it was. So I pre-ordered it, because you also got a free copy of the D Dishonored 1 Definitive Edition, I believe. And... Uh, uh, I installed Dishonored 1 and I was like streaming and playing it for a little bit, but didn't end up getting really that far. Ended up just kind of getting bored of it. Um, I've installed that game multiple times, Dishonored 1, and got bored of it. I want to say that I've beat it twice and like installed it to, to play it four other times, and then I never get far and just like end up playing something else or uninstalling it. Because it's a cool game, but. I guess it never the tons of replayability, so I'm excited to play it. But um, I just think it'll be one of those games that's like really fun once, and then don't really end up coming back to it. But either way, um, there are there isn't like anything that I'm mega excited for this year. There's just all games that I think have a lot of potential uh, to entertain me. So. Hoping for the best, I guess. Because <laughs> this game... Is, well, it's pretty much done at this point. Like, No more DLC after, uh, after this one. So, I'm gonna... At least play this once more. Because I want to get through my melee character. And I'm not even far on it. Like, I'm level 10 or 12 or something like that. And, uh... I've done... Uh, like I did the Arcjet Systems quest for Dance and the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, I did really nothing else. That's it. Like I was heading them to Diamond City. I didn't even do the starting quest for uh, what's his face? Like Preston Garvey at the museum. I don't even remember what the museum is called. The one right below the uh. Uh, uh, red rocket, like at the top of the map there. Uh, that's all I did. So, 
I was like kind of just like really slowly making my way to Diamond City, weaving in and out, you know, clearing out a lot of the areas that have enemies, just getting experience, kind of sneaking around because it's survival and, and melee, which is uh, a bit of a challenge at the at the start of the game. Uh, okay, I'm going the right way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish that character off. So I need to do Automatron, and then Far Harbor, and then this, and then beat the main quest, because I do have plans for future videos, and I need to beat the main quest once more in order to make one of the videos that I'm, that I'm hoping to make, so... Um, that's gonna, I think, close it out for this one. Um, I meant to install the mod, <laughs> a mod for this suit that makes it a tiny bit better. Um, but I forgot to do that, so I think I might save and quit, and uh, that'll be it for this episode. So yep, it's already getting a little bit long, longer than it should have been, but that's it for this episode of Buffy the Sinslayer. Likes and comments always appreciated. Till next time, bye for now.